Here we demonstrate the production of pressed pellets with our stainless steel die set of 40 mm diameter. A polished plate with a polished side facing upwards is inserted. The sample material is put on top and a second polished plate is put on top with the polished side facing downwards. Now the piston is inserted into the die set. The die set is placed into the electrohydraulic press. The safety window is closed, the valve is shut and now the electrohydraulic press moves up to 18 metric tons. The die set is removed from the press and disassembled. The base plate is taken off and the lower polished press plate is pressed into the extraction cup. You see the pellet still in the die set. Hmm. The die set is now put under the press with the extraction cup below and you carefully lower by hand the piston so that the pellet falls into the extraction cup. Here you see in the extraction cup the uh, pressed pellet ready for analysis. Now we demonstrate making pellets in aluminum sample cups which are put into our simple tool steel die set with one pressed plate and this die set is now put into the machine. And the electrohydraulic press moves up to approximately 18 tons. You normally keep a holding time of about one minute at the preset press force and then you release the valve and take out the die set. The die set is disassembled and the pellet in the aluminum cup is pushed out by hand. The back side can be used to mark the pellet. Here we show a more comprehensive die set made of fully hardened tool steel. Here you see the piston with grooved notches for ventilation. Cylinder and base plate are of screw plug type and a funnel can be put on top. The set contains four polished plates. Die sets are high precision mechanical tools. The die set here is disassembled and the set contains an extraction tool as well.